Good morning. This is Dr. Ariel C. Manlusok, a director of the ADMRC Review Center. This is the first part of my presentations on how to prepare for the criminologist licensure examination. To begin with, how to prepare for criminologist licensure examination or CLE. What must I do? Let's have an acronym, S-K-Y, in short, SKY. S stands for Set Your Goal, K, Know Yourself, and Y, Definitely, you have to work hard for it. Let's begin with letter S, Set Your Goal. Dream big and think positive. Just like what Norman Vincent Pyle said, all successful people have a goal. No one can get anywhere unless he knows where he wants to go and what he wants to be or to do. It's very obvious that if you want to achieve success or you want to have something in life, you really have to set your goal. And it's better to think bigger because we do things based on what we want to achieve. What is my goal? Basically, there are only three options. In the board exam, it's either one, to be on top or a top notcher, two, to be a board passer, or three, a flanker. To be a top notcher will give you not only license, but a special award and recognitions that somehow may give you an extra privileges. To be a passer, it gives you license, eligibility to practice the professions, and to pursue your ambitions. But as flankers, it means you have to go over again, just like a recycled bin. You have to start all over again. You have to set goals that are almost out of reach. If you set a goal that is attainable without much work or thought, you are stuck with something below your true talent and potential, according to Steve Garvey. Why we should set a goal that is higher or bigger? The reason is mind over matter. If we want to pass the board only, we will just prepare for passing. What if along the way, there's something happen and you fall short of your preparation where will you be if you will not be a board passer definitely you will be a flunker but if you aim to be a top notcher it means you have to do a lot of things you have to challenge yourself and to give your best so that you can achieve that big goal but what if you fall short of your preparations if you did not tap the board, definitely, where will you be? You can be still a board passer. Second, know yourself. You know, just like any other Asian philosophers, you know Sun Chu, the author of The Art of War, who said, know yourself and your enemy, if you know yourself and not the enemy, you will be a fool who will meet defeats. If you know yourself and your enemies, you don't have to fear the result of a hundred battles. Even Confucius said, Do not do unto others what you do not want others to do unto you. So still, it starts from knowing yourself. What we should know about ourselves. Again, for easy understanding, let's have an acronym. I called it, or a professional called it, SWOT, not SWAT, 
SWOT, no? which stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threat. Not the SWOT, which means student without a teacher. Let's begin with S, Strengths. What is your strengths? You ask yourself, am I good in English? Do I have a wide vocabulary? Am I a fast, fast learner? Am I a wide reader? Those things are important because in studying, in reviewing, things like that are very important or essential. Weaknesses. What are my weaknesses? Am I hard in understanding English? So in which case, I need to improve myself. Do, do I lack with vocabulary? So dictionaries are there for you to expand your vocabulary. Opportunities. Do you have financial capacity to enroll for the review? Do you have the resources to buy books, references, review materials, or reading materials? Are they available review centers around you? Are they near or too far? Are your families there to support you? What about the threats? In taking the board exam, there are also a lot of threats. And what are the common threats? Basically, one of the threats that we have in preparations for board exams are the credentials that we need to prepare. Sometimes it even disturbs us in preparation for the board. Definitely, finances is also a threat because if you really want something, you really have to spend money for it. Just like what Laozi said, understanding others is a knowledge, but understanding oneself is an enlightenment. Conquering other is power, but conquering oneself is a strength. So you need to know all these four aspects so that you can better prepare yourself to turn your weaknesses into strengths, take advantage of your strengths and opportunities in order for you to overcome whatever threats in achieving your goal. Ask yourself the following questions. If you want to start reviewing and preparing for the examinations, ask yourself these three basic questions. And what are they? One, what do I really want in life? Ano ba talagang gusto mo sa buhay? You know, sometimes there are things that you 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 want to achieve now, but later on you will decide or you will change your mind and said, "I ito na lang." So if you really want to achieve something, you have to have a firm mind on what you really want, so that you will have a clear directions on what to do. Second, what is my capacity to meet the challenges? Just like what we said a while ago. What are your strengths and your weaknesses, your opportunities and threats? Because all of these can be part of the challenges. And third, how much and how far I can sacrifice. Just like what Coco Pimentel said, one of the bar top touchers in the Philippines. Why do you need to ask yourself how far I can sacrifice? The answer is very obvious. Greatest success requires greatest sacrifices. 
You must endure whatever pain it is, whatever hardship it is, just to achieve your ambition. And third, definitely, you have to work hard for it. It takes a lot of perseverance. Some people took around five months to prepare for the examinations. Yet, there are others even prepared for one year just to make sure that they really make, they really make it in the board exam. It's only two options, top-notch shirt or a board passer. Perseverance is one great virtue that everyone should have every time that he wants something to achieve. Because we all know that everything that we want in life, it's not only us who want it. There are other people who want it also but there are things that we cannot get it easily and there are things that are of limited opportunities perseverance is the virtue that tells us that never to give up whatever it takes whatever the result whether it is a failure or a success a good or a bad, you always focus until you accomplish your goal. Have a positive thinking. Why positive thinking is very important. No one is certain about what will happen tomorrow. No one is certain about what will happen next week, next month, or even next year. Just like what we have right now. The country or the whole world is in pandemic. Everybody is still uncertain as to until when our new normal will be like this. Positive thinking is not the thinking that everything is okay. Everything is alright and everything will be okay. Positive thinking is the sense that even if times becomes rough, the road becomes rocky, and we failed in our journey, there is always an opportunity that we will reach our destination, that we will achieve our goal. Positive thinking is the thinking that every day, will definitely not always okay and all right but in times that we are sad in times that we are failure we know that there is a better thing that will come the following day soon or later we have to be dedicated the slide the last slides shows your lack of dedication is an insult to those who believe in you. What does it mean? Sometimes people easily give up. For what reason? For the reason that they are just doing things for themselves. But if you are doing this not just for yourself, but you are doing this because you want to change your life. You want to change your family's life. You want to improve your living. You want your parents to be proud of you. You want to return to them what they have done to you. Then no matter how hard it is, and no matter how many, how many times you fall, you will not easily give up. Why? Because you're doing this for someone who are dear to you. You are doing this because they believe in you.
some important reminders in preparations for the examinations. I listed here around 10 pointers, just like 10 commandments. No? And let's discuss them very briefly one by one. First, learn to prioritize things. If you really want to make it in the board exam, then you have to set it as one of your priorities. It may not be the very first priority, but at least it must be one of the foremost priorities. You have to set aside things which are not important, especially things that you can go over and over again. Two, make a timetable. Not everyone used to have this kind of technique. But for people who are well organized, this is very, very important and effective. Because having a timetable will make you guided of what to do next, what you have done, where are you now, and what are needed to be done so that you will make sure at the end of the time you accomplish everything. You know, time is very important because even according to some philosopher, time is never favor us. Why? Because we cannot turn back the time. We cannot hold the time. Time is very precious. As a matter of fact, it is even more precious than money. We can buy money, but we cannot really buy time in reality. And we cannot turn it back. Third, organize your notes. You don't have to have so many reading materials. What you need is a reliable reading materials. There are a lot of books, reviewers available in the market. But you have to be careful. There are some Q&A reviewers in which the answer key does not accurately jive with the questions, meaning it might be an intentional error or a clerical error. So we have to be very careful. We have to arrange our notes properly. How? There are six subjects in the board exam. So... You can buy six folders, put in one folder one category, like for example, criminal law and jurisprudence, one folder, law enforcement administration, one folder, crime detection and investigations, criminalistics, crime social, correction. So those are the six subjects. Or, if you want to Economize, you can have three folders wherein you can put two subjects in one folder because they are to be given in the same day during the examination, such as what? The law and the LEA or law enforcement administration can be combined together. The criminalistics and the CDI also combined together and social and correction combined together. So you have three folders there. Fourth, we have to be resourceful. Information are now easily reached by people. Why? We have internets. And there are so many available resources in the webs. But aside from this, if you have friends, people whom you know who already passed the board exam, you can ask for their notes. You can borrow materials from those people who are already successful or who made it in the examinations. And in, in, in the same time, you can do the fifth one. Ask for their opinions on how they prepare and how did they make it in the board exam. Wala naman sigurong mawawala if we ask opinions from other people. As a matter of fact, we grow more when we are humble enough to ask, especially that we know that we only know a little. 
Number six, let your parents or loved ones know about your plan. What is the purpose of this? The purpose of this is that so when whatever you plan, whatever you wanted to do, your parents, loved ones, and people who are close to you or with you, they know what that what you are doing is because you want to achieve something. Sometimes the reason why there is misunderstanding in the family is simply because we are not honest enough to tell our loved ones that of what we want and what we don't want. Seven, think positive. I think I already discussed what it is a while ago. Eight, if you are enrolled in the review, then you have to attend your review religiously. We do not know that somehow if you miss one session nobody knows what will be asked exactly in the board exam what if that specific session that you miss is the one that is focused during the board exam ninth strive hard and don't give up until you attain it you know, there are no really failures in the examinations. Why? Because even if you fail in taking the board once, you can retake it. As a matter of fact, failing the board is just a delayed success. Why did I say so? Because if even if you failed once, twice, thrice, or even ten times, but if you make it in the 11th take, still you succeed. And that is what is more important. But actually, it is not just succeeding that is more important. If we try to think about it, the more important thing is what we build up in ourselves. What we did to make ourselves a better persons but still it's a different feeling if you succeed in your first attempt that is why I said in in my earlier discussion it's better to think big and think positive so that you will not entertain any negative vibes any negative opportunity but more of the positive one. And last but not the least, definitely, we have to always put God or Allah on top of our goals so that we are always guided by the Holy Spirit. What must I do? Let's have an acronym, S-K-Y. In short, SKY. S stands for Set Your Goal. K, Know Yourself. And Y, Definitely, You Have to Work Hard for It. Let's begin with letter S. Set Your Goal. Dream big and think positive. Just like what Norman Vincent Pyle said, all successful people have a goal. No one can get anywhere unless he knows where he wants to go and what he wants to be or to do. It's very obvious that if you want to achieve success or you want to have something in life, you really have to set your goal. And it's better to think bigger because we do things based on what we want to achieve.
that's for today. Thank you. Focus. God bless. May you all succeed in life and may you achieve your goals. But don't forget that success is meaningless if we will not make use of them for the good of the people. For adding glory to his name and in service of the people who are in need of our assistance. So that's for today. Goodbye and God bless.